All right, good evening, everyone. We are ready to hopefully finish Chapter 2, Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. I think I have a pretty good idea who the killer is. We're just going to have to figure out the how and why. <clears throat> I've... I've been trying to think about, like... The biggest unknown right now for me is that noodle cart. Why that was... What the need for the noodle cart was. This is it, the big day! Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed about 1 a.m. or so. <clears throat> oh? What time did you wake up? 3 a.m.? Oh, God! Oh, poor Apollo! That's only two hours, Apollo! But at least you have me! Oh. And Mr. Hat! And the amazing Mr. Hat! Here's looking at you, kid! Good luck today, Apollo. Who's this? That voice! Oh, hey, Phoenix. Hey, get any sleep? Mr. Wright. I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the in at the Indochine pasta joint seem almost fun. <laughs> Can't blame you there. Daddy, do you know who Prof Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess. Hmm. How about Little Plum? <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? Nope, guess again. That's too bad. You know, speaking of moms... You need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. <laughs> it's barely morning. You're at it already, Trucy. <laughs> Okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiancé. Oh. Hmm. That, that bitch is hella sus. And now she's gonna testify against him? The, the red flags just keep coming up. She's going to be a witness? That seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiancé? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I got my panties back. <laughs> Thank God for that. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there! June 17th, 10 a.m. District Courtroom Number 4. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up, and it's a sold out house. Very well, to recap. While yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party... Guilty of panty snatching? We did find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Herr Judge. And today I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all you see. To his betrothed. His betroth? Really, Judge? His fiancée, Herr Judge. His partner for life, with no chance for parole. Very well, you may show the, uh, lucky lady to the stand. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're on to you. Your name and occupation, Fräulein. 
Alita Tiala. My occupation is future wife. Yeah. <laughs> ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded. Underwater. Excuse me? Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first. But I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm, honesty. Another admirable trait. Truth my ass. Frawlin, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant, Waki Kitaki, confessed his plans? His plans for murder. Yes. The witness will please give her testimony to the court. Oh, we're gonna love this. It was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Waki found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. So the pistol did belong to the, the Kitaki family, then. Yes. With regards to this, an investigation's already at the Kitaki mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life? Was it... Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. Hmm. How can you prove something like that? Oh, there's... Ballistics evidence, probably. Bullets carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. Yeah, this was... Ballistics evidence has uh, come into play a few times during the series. And when did you first hear about Walkie's plan? It was on the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him. I just didn't think you would actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. Oh, boy. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes. Everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Waki looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, he had just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So you were there at the time. Yes. Poor Waki. When Waki found out that Dr. Maractus lied, he flew into a rage. That must have been, uh, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped his report up into shreds. Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file his evidence. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, do we have that? Yeah, right here. A bothersome chore, but one I performed without complaint. Waki's at an age where he's hard to control and he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. So, is it easy to take out a pistol from the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. But Walkie's a special case, being the next in line. Now, I wonder... Because she is his fiancée, 
and we've, we've already seen he's kind of a simp for her anyways. Did he give her access too? Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special, yeah? Well, maybe he is a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. How do you... Ah. Okay, a chocolate gravestone sounds pretty cool, but how do you make a switchblade out of chewing gum? I have questions. Sounds like he has a taste for sweets. And danger. The point here being that Waki had access to a pistol. And you already know what happened that night. Oh, do we? What happened, meaning the murder? I tried to stop him. I really did. But Waki wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. I don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. How can you say that for certain? How? Uh... Oh. Head forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Frowlin. It was the defendant, um, Walkie, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, yeah? That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Could someone else have used that pistol? Let's take another look at it. Yes! Two rounds were fired! Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. Because... Cause of death. Single bullet to the right temple. One other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. Here we go. We're, we're, we're gonna go for it. Well, of course, I mean you, Miss Tiala. Me? But why? You were quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection. Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé. And killed a man in cold blood on his behalf? I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... It does seem a bit unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. Again, though, I don't think that's it. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I think... I think the bitch is either a gold digger, or she's working for that rival gang. I'd hope you do more than hesitate. But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. Ah, yes. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Right, we already found out. She worked for him. Maractus, that is. 
Hmm, that would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. Yeah. Right. That looks like a medical chart. Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tiala, whatever... Why is your name on this chart? Mmm... Weren't expecting that, were ya? Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Our warm little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. Oh, what is this? What is this aura she's giving off now? That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Tiala, you testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess, you're the kind of guy who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? That's not true at all, why I? I embrace the ones I love, past flaws and all- <laughs> There's no connection now, doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly? She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true. But you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Ooh. Is it... Is it... Is it the shoes that we found there? over everything else. Okay. We're gonna go with this. These sandals were found at the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Uh... Well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry, Fraulein, but your act isn't working. Oh, oh? Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side! Perhaps you're unaware that toes leave toe prints? A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Mm. Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just want you to help get Walkie back on the straight and narrow. Uh-huh. Mm. This court thinks you need to worry less about Walkie and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic. 
Which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. Very well, the witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? Now here's another thing that just popped into my mind. What if she was blackmailing Maractus? Because he hid the... Because he hid the, um... Um, the results. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. In January, you say? No, this isn't dated. The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. By mistake, you mean... The mistake we heard about from the defendant. The botched operation. He was a timid small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm. That does make sense. Yeah, but there's still one thing which does not. What's that prosecutor, Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah? Yeah. So why would she just take them off there in the lobby? Then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those sandals home, too. <laughs> really, Judge? I guess, uh, tell us a little bit about your taste in fashion. But yeah, we, I think we can, we can safely guess that she actually switched. She put the, um, the slippers on. Although, it, I'm not sure why she would leave them in the lobby and not, and not have taken them with her. So why were the sandals left behind? Hmm. <laughs> hey, MB. Yeah, Clavier, you mean? Uh, he pointed out the contradiction before me. That's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there, which you wore home by mistake. Mistake? Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. I I was under the impression she wore the sandals, or she, she put the slippers on to avoid leaving footprints at the crime scene. Oh, it's nothing. There, there is, after all, no other possible explanation. Yeah, forehead? Oh, what the? No fair! He's filling the holes in her testimony. The defense may begin the cross-examination. But yeah, I don't... Again, again, this is a blind playthrough for me, so I don't know if, uh... If we're gonna see Edgy in this. But I do know, um, after I finish this one, I want to do the, uh... The, uh, Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth spinoff. That will be fun. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30, I think. A.M. or P.M. And that was the first time you contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. 
So why did you go to the clinic that day? I went to warn him. After all, I knew Waki had the pistol. Did you want Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop Waki, I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was was busy driving home until after 9 p.m. that night, remember? This was proven by this mirror yesterday, yeah? Hmm. We don't know who was driving that car, though, do we? I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Knowing the doctor... The doctor always was a timid man. Too timid to admit his own mistake. You mean that act of malpractice on Walkie, correct? If he had just told Walkie the truth in the beginning, none of this would have happened. True, that operation was the start of this whole affair. Well, of course, if he told him, he might have been erased by the Katakis much earlier. A disturbing thought. We know that the Maractus Clinic had ties to the Kataki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police, even if he wanted to. That's why I knew I had to warn him. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. Oh, are you? No dark secrets, huh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something. I know it. I must have some evidence that proves it, too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. Hmm. But then you'd be betraying Walkie, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him! For us! She went to warn him so that her fiancé would not have to commit such a crime, yeah? I didn't want them to take my walkie away. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened to that clinic, and fast. Hmm. We didn't get any new testimony. I'll bet it's either either this lamp or the bullet that we found in the save. Because we know something happened in his office.
Okay, we already... We did already look at that. Wow, it's all mushed! That was one tough save. You know, it looks kind of yummy. Excuse me? A bullet? Like ice cream. Mm-mm. Caramel. You certainly have an active imagination, Trucy. There's nothing else about the bullet we can look at. Hmm. I'm gonna try this, and the music didn't stop, so this is probably wrong. Maybe the lamp then? No. I have a feeling I'm on the right track, but... I really don't want to mess this up, and then... I'm gonna have to do this over again. Maybe this is it. Because she did sign off on this. She knew she knew this whole time. That's right. Objection. Oh, yes. Mm. This chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yes. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala? 
You know why it was, don't you? Mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad Herr Doctor. And this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means... You knew about Waki's failed operation. Interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kinda makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? Mm. You're bold for a novice, I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, this chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. Mm. Hmm. There it is again. My bracelet's reacting again. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? Just like yesterday, like you said. When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habit gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Huh? Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, that has to be it. What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Truce. You don't have some kind of special power or anything. Yeah, this is... I think this is supposed to be similar to the, uh, to the Magatama that Phoenix got in the second and third games. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak spot somewhere in Miss Ta Tiala's testimony. But we don't know what her nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo, with your eyes and your senses. Then it's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half-year-old chart? Oh, there it... She was fiddling with her ring. Go to the clinic. That's the part that... Why go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now, don't you? Because he found out. Then... Then Waki would have found out that she knew about it the whole time and never told him. I think it's coming together. I don't know what you're talking about. 
It was qu quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. What? She was unsure. I saw it. Now. That's the key word. This chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Huh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. I've got her on the ropes now. I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow. With evidence. Miss Tiala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now because of this. There. A health checkup report belonging to the, the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Uh, uh, nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh? I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew what Waki's chest x-ray would reveal. A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. <laughs> there we go. That's all, Your Honor. What just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from her forehead. Very cool. So the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. But her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Gataki's got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. Order! Order! I did it. I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo. I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Wait. Hmm? Miss Tiala? It's true, that chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. But that's all. I told him about Walkie and went home. It appears this cross-examination is far from over. What? She hid the truth from us. This is clear, yet... It is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Hmm. Very well. The witness will add this to her testimony. Oh, jeez. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. God damn it! Ugh! I was so close! You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo! Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. How did Mo Dr. Maractus respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised. Panicky, even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn Kitaki was after him? 
Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why, we had a life-threatening situation just yesterday, right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you stood up to the attack of the amazing Mr. Hat, sir. <laughs> After which, I carry you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Maractus's office that day, huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. I know, I know. But we can't prove when it happened. Nor that Alita Tiala was in any way involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyway. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened to that clinic. Fast. Hmm. Nothing happened. I warned him and left. Okay, is this the point? Where we present the bullet that was fired. Objection! Yes! You say nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a squished up ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. This bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala. Objection! Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Objection! Ah, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe? I guess the police didn't check that far. But there's a problem. How can you say that bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? The pistol was taken from the Kataki Mansion that day. If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, that proves a firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. There we go. Not bad, Herr Forehead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. Thirty minutes later, a report arrives. The rifling marks on both bullets are identical. Well, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defense would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. And at the time of the firing, the safe was open. The safe which contained the top secret chart. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus? In order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Alita. Our witness, Alita Tiala. Order, order, order! Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Alita Tiala knew about Waki Kataki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him, and then the bullet finally reached his destination? She would be the she would be the next heir to the to the family, wouldn't she? What? 
That reminds me. Apparently, the Katakis have been asserting themselves in lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious! So she planned to marry him just to get her hands on this fortune? Huh? Oh. You keep talking trash about my Alita? And I'll sue you, lawyer man! Oh, jeez. Well, this is gonna get more complex, but... I think I will take a quick break here and we will uh, continue with this in a few minutes.